Hi, this is Kathleen Sebelius. More than 34 years ago, a young Kansan returning to his home state to practice law asked me to marry him and move to Kansas. And I said yes, and left my job in Washington, D.C. to marry Gary Sebelius. And I've loved every minute of this amazing journey. We've made Topeka our home for over three decades. Gary and I raised our boys in this community. And I've been involved in public service here since 1987, when the people of Kansas first sent me to the Capitol as a member of the House of Representatives. It has been one of my greatest honors to serve as governor of the great state of Kansas. And so the decision to leave this post early is not an easy one. But I'm committed to service. And when the president asked me to accept a position in his cabinet, I couldn't refuse. I felt obligated to answer President Obama's call to work with him on the challenges of providing affordable health care for all Americans, delivering essential services to our most vulnerable populations, and maximizing our resources to benefit the health of all of our citizens. I'm so proud of the work we've done together to move Kansas forward since I was elected as our state's 44th governor in 2002. The legislature came together, worked with me, and resolved a lengthy battle over the finances of our children's education, and in doing so, made an historic commitment to have excellent schools in every district in Kansas, and open the doors of opportunity for all of our children. Our work over the last seven sessions has made college more accessible to more Kansas students with millions of dollars of new scholarship money and additional state resources to lessen the burden on families and students. We work to deliver vital services to Kansans in need and have received national recognition for those efforts to help seniors and the disabled. Thousands of additional Kansas children now have health insurance thanks to our HealthWave program. And our health department is working with school districts, state employees, seniors, and others on strategies to ensure a healthier generation of Kansas citizens. The 10-year highway plan will be completed on time and on budget, ensuring that our goods and workers gets to market safely and efficiently. And our corrections efforts to reduce our prison population and more successfully integrate returning inmates to their home communities has become a national model. When a federal announcement was made about closing military bases across the country, we mobilized partnerships of federal, state, and local officials, community and military leaders, and made a national case for not only keeping our bases in Kansas, but expanding Kansas military assets. And the building growth in Junction City and the surrounding area is a testament to the success of that effort. The bipartisan public-private campaign to convince the Department of Homeland Security to choose Kansas for their national laboratory succeeded, and generations of Kansans will be the beneficiaries of that decision. And the effort to earn a National Cancer Institute designation has been launched. But it's in times of crisis that bring out the best of Kansans, and throughout my term as governor, We've had our young men and women deployed to fight in two wars. We've lost soldiers whom I will never forget and to whom we will always be grateful. We've experienced floods and ice storms, hail and high winds, and the devastating effects of tornadoes. The whole world was aghast when Greensburg, Kansas was almost wiped off the map in May of 2007 and today is moved as this rural Kansas community rebuilds for the 21st century future. They didn't do it alone, but the decisions and efforts started with the local community who were determined to make a better life for their children and grandchildren. And their determination, hard work, and hope have inspired a nation. Once again, we came together as a state, not as Republicans or Democrats, but as Kansans, facing a crisis together, and putting our time and our talents to the task of helping people in need. Knowing that when we work together, all things are possible. That we need one another for help and support. Of understanding that even in bleak times, things will get better. Now these are great Kansas lessons for me to take back to Washington. A great partner for the past three years is Mark Parkinson, who will become the 45th governor of Kansas. 
He's been a steady partner in moving Kansas forward and leading some of the strategic initiatives which position us well to emerge from the current economic difficulties in better shape than most states, and he will be a terrific governor. He's been a trusted advisor, an enthusiastic office holder, and a very good friend. And I'm so grateful to him and his family for his return to public service at a time when Kansas needs him most. While I'll be taking on new responsibilities, I will continue to work on behalf of all Kansans as I work on initiatives to benefit all Americans. I'm proud to be joining a president who has close ties to our state, raised by Kansas women, and understands the values of faith, family, and community that are so important in the heartland. My husband, who brought me here over three decades ago, will stay and work here, at least for now. Our son John is living and working in Lawrence so I will have a regular reminder that there's no place like home. I want to thank Kansans for their incredible support for me and my family over the years. I've had the privilege of working with some of the very best people on earth, and I'm so proud of what we've accomplished together. And I ask for your continued prayers, for me, for our president, for our new governor, and for our country. I'm optimistic that the Kansas motto will once again be realized. We need to continue to aim high, and while there always be difficult times, like the economic and health challenges we face today, working together, we will reach the stars.